folks. Thanks so much for tuning in. My name's Robbo, and this is my brand new bike. It is brand new bike day uh, in the Robson household. Not a day that comes around too often, but this one is kind of special. It's a titanium gravel road do anything bike from a company called Turner, and let's have a, a real uh, close look at some of the parts. I'll be doing a lot more on my channel uh, in the coming months and probably years on this bike. It's a bike that uh, I can't see going anywhere soon. So, the frame. Full titanium. Have a look at the quality of the welds on that bike. Uh, Dave Turner is a bike builder of some repute. Uh, goes back to the 90s, a normal racer, uh, famous for such bikes as you know, Turner Burners, etc. etc. But he's just gone out, uh, basically now does titanium hardtails uh, or you know, titanium bridges bikes. So, the cyclosis is not quite a gravel bike, it's not quite a a uh, cycle cross bike is not quite a road bike, it is um, an amalgam of all those things, and so far, so good. I've only done about 15 k's on it, and it is just a beautiful ride. Lovely, uh, uh, nice steering, and uh, lovely and compliant, and uh, matches well with the whiskey uh, fork the specs on all these bikes. So, parts wise, look, it's a bit of a mix. Um, yeah, some pretty conservative stuff, not uh, getting any younger, and I don't really care for all that fancy stuff. Nothing wrong with uh, wireless shifting and the like, but. Uh, cables all the way from the Shimano GRX. Uh, shifters were hard to find. Uh, stock shortages affecting the cycling trade around the world still impacting on some parts and luckily enough to scoop up a set of those second hand and uh, save myself half price uh, in the bargain as well. Uh, handlebars and stem from a company called P&W, uh, Pacific Northwest, gives you clues as to where they're from. Lovely white handlebar that's about 53 centimetres from, from memory. I'm about 6'3 in the old money um, and a big boy so having a nice white bar helps. And a shorter stem from the same company as well and that, uh, that stem cap can actually hold a GoPro mount which is a, a clever little feature of that bike. Uh, a couple of king cages, probably 15 years old that pair, they've been on a lot of my bikes uh, throughout, speaking of things that have been on uh, lots of bikes. That stem cap I stole from when I was a mountain bike journalist back in the uh, actually late 90s I guess uh, from Gary Fisher and it uh, yeah, has been on every single bike uh, that I've ever had and it says uh, no work and no play is no good at all and uh, yeah. My wonderful mechanic who built this bike for me, Brad Kelly up at Drift Bikes, was a, a little non plus that he had to put a scrappy old stem cap on such a gorgeous build. But uh, too bad, Bradley. I wanted it. No, but it's there we go. Uh, look at the total indulgence part down here. Uh, the, uh, the EE wings cranks from, uh, uh, goodness, not Hank, but this is the other one. That's uh, Cane Creek, of course. Cane Creek. Now, I did get them on special, inverted commas, but yeah. I don't need them, but I wanted them, and they are so sexy. Uh, I had to buy a, uh, an E13 bottom bracket separately, and also the Spider separately as well, so, uh, to suit the, uh, the double turn ring setup there. It's a uh, 5034, and they are Wickworks cranks. Uh, again, from a US company, used to use them back in the day, and I love them. So, uh, and why 2x11? I don't know, just like it. I think for an older, unfit bloke, it gives you more range. Um, and I'm not too enamored by that massive sort of beast dish look uh, on the back wheel, so uh, yeah, that's why I went for it. Speaking of cassettes, that's just a Sunrace. Sunrace the 1136. So nice and affordable, nice and accessible. Uh, the GRX stuff. Um, big note to uh, to Brad here. He actually rebuilt the derailleur for me, even though it was brand new. Pulled it apart, tension the clutch, greased it properly. Um, so if you're looking for someone to fiddle with your bikes, the boys, at, <coughs> the boys and girls at Drift Bikes are certainly the ones to go see. The wheels uh, hunt. Now that's a brand that's popped up out of the UK in the last couple of years and it's a good quality but affordable mail order wheel brand, I suppose you could put it. Uh, Brad reckons they were beautiful out of the box, I picked them up second hand again, so serve myself a few bucks. Hubs run forever, um, good quality, uh, you know, a bit of noise on the back, the tension's good. So yeah, let's see how they, let's see how they travel. Uh, Pirelli tyres, just because I'm a car guy and I thought they were cool, they're probably a little bit heavy and a little bit too much for uh, for the riding I do, so I'll probably switch them out for some pan races. Uh, which I love. So, and the last thing I'll show you too is this. It is a, uh, a PMW part. It's the Coast Dropper. Now, what's in the unusual about this? You can probably see some of the witness marks there. It's actually a suspension dropper. So you, you charge it up with the uh, the valve there. But I'm not liking it. I've got to say, it's a it's a very strange feeling sitting on the. If you think about sitting on your at, at your desk on your office chair and it's sort of bouncing up and down while you're 
you know, while you're working. That's pretty much the feeling that I'm getting from that, even though I've got it pumped up to maximum. So not super interested in keeping it, I don't think. Uh, I might just swap it out for a rigid, uh, a rigid dropper. Although, again, I'm not 100% convinced that you need a dropper on this kind of bike, but at the end again, I've ridden 15 minutes. I haven't done anything like off-road, so uh, let's just see how we go. And finally, East Resistance, the Silverado saddle from WTD. They've also graced pretty much all my bikes from about the year 1942. Thank you everyone for, uh, for uh, having a look. I'm going to be putting a lot more of this bike uh, across my social channels. You'll also see it on Australian Geographic magazine, actually. Um, going to do a bit of a, uh, a build feature in there. So please fire away with any questions below. I'm happy to answer them. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.